And there is the Ginger Prince, 36 years old, and what a legendary career he had for Manchester United. One of the great midfielders of all time for the Red Devils. Retired last May after the UEFA Champions League loss to Barcelona after an incredible 17-year career. Here's what he did in the Premier League starting in 1994. 466 BPL appearances, 102 goals, 10 Barclays Premier League champions, championships, and pretty good career in Europe, too. 130 caps. For Manchester United, Keith, pretty solid starting a eleven. Very strong lineup. The Hay and goal, Rafael Ferdinand, Vidic, and Ever at the back. Young Giggs, Skulls, Nanny, and then up front, Berbatov and Rooney. Forget about playing against the Cosmos. This team could take on anybody in Europe right now and give them a game. Sir Alex Ferguson presenting some of the silverware and some of the commemorative hardware to Paul Skulls. And what a midfielder he was, Keith, for Manchester United. And. He is the figurehead for the new Cosmos, which, as we mentioned, trying to get into Major League Soccer. Here's the starting 11 that Eric Cantona has today and some big, big names being brought in for this big game. Yeah, no real shock. It's an attacking lineup for Cantona. Friedel in goal, Salgado, Rayer in Cannavaro, and Bridge at the back. Murphy, Nicky Butt, former Manchester United man, in the middle of that midfield. They're ahead to two. And then up front, Robbie Keane, Dwight York, and Dimitrov. And don't forget, Dwight York had some very successful times here at Old Trafford, and the fans will love to see him back. Dwight York was one of the strikers who started in 1999 in the UEFA Champions League final against Bayern Munich. And there is Eric Cantona, Paul Scholes, Sir Alex Ferguson, and Pele. It doesn't get any bigger than that as far <laughs> as some of the biggest names and faces in soccer in the last 40 years. Well, Scholesy winning 10 Premier League titles. In his career with Manchester United, two UEFA Champions League trophies. And here he is, teeing it up. We know he's got a great shot on him. And how about that? Paul Scholes rocketing one in, just like he did during his glory years with Manchester United. And the small from Ferguson says it all. He will be missed on the field. Excellent ball back. Excellent first touch. What a hit. <laughs> no goalkeeper stopping that one. Well, clearly, he can still do it. <laughs> he was given a little bit of space, but even a keeper as good as Brad Friedel, not going to keep that one out. We've well, known that Scholes has that great right foot on him for his entire career, and how about that look on his face? Well, you saw on the replay the smile from Friedel as if to say, well, I half expected that. Cantona watches on, but Scholes scored so many spectacular strikes from distance, and first chance today... It's 1-0 Manchester United. Stepping up for the penalty kick. And he blasts it into the roof of the net. In the 28th minute. Giving Man U the 2-0 lead. An excellent penalty kick. No chance for Brad Friedel. But again, it's the measure of goals. We keep going back to him. In a testimonial, he could have said, I want to take a penalty kick. Instead, he says, well, it's your injury. He couldn't miss early on in the season. Good run from him. Splits the two central defenders. Attacks that area. And Rooney, perfect delivery what inside. Ball, yeah. Well back. Oh, what a touch right there. Anderson with an extremely exquisite finish with the one-timer. And I said he's not a noted goal scorer from midfield and Proves me wrong with that finish. Excellent one-touch football from Manchester United again. In at the edge of the box. But it's not just the first touch, it's the movement off the initial pass from Anderson. Wrong foot to defender. And right in the bottom corner. Credit Welbeck too. Nice layoff. So Anderson gives Manchester United the 3-0 lead. Good ball by Rooney to Ashley Young. Rooney. Well back. Goal. 4-0. Manchester United. And Rooney's movement over the last few minutes causing the Cosmos all sorts of problems. Drifting deep. And he finds some space on this left-hand side. Looking for that cross in and well back. Had a chance earlier on and missed. 
This time he makes no mistake. They see Rooney just getting in between the fullback and the central defender. The cross comes in, not fully dealt with, and the Cosmos midfield not coming back in and providing cover for the back four. And the finish from well back, powerful and into the corner. And the route is on for Manchester United. Here you see Welbeck just coming deep, the defender sitting in, and the fullback, the left fullback, very slow to get out and cover. And GF takes full advantage. Struck a well, low and hard, down at the keeper's feet, always going to be difficult. It's his head over the ball, through the legs of the goalkeeper, in fact.